Uh, this right here is episode 359. 359, right? Uh, my goal was to get to 365 to have a year's full of content. And um, I don't know. I might change the format after that. Eh, who knows? Uh, shouts out to the Philippines. Philippines came through this month. Uh, I don't know. Somebody picked me up in in the Philippines, and I'm I'm grateful. Makes uh makes uh America looks bad. I mean, I'm I'm here, and you know, I they there's twice as many downloads in the Philippines than it, there is here in the states. But hey, I'm grateful. Uh, and Australia. Good day, Mike. <laughs> uh, today, I'm talking to you about your purpose and not being, not limited, not limiting it to one thing. Now, I say this most of my life. I mean, as I was sitting in my thinking chair, just thinking about the things I think about. I was thinking how most of all of my life I believed hey we gotta fulfill that one purpose and then we die or we got one purpose to do and we gotta figure out what it is what is that one thing that God is telling me to do that one thing and not really understanding who I am and you know the Bible says we are fearfully and wonderfully made and we take that and we think yeah well, I'm, I'm wonderfully made I'm, I'm fearfully and wonderfully made yeah I can I can do all things to Christ and a lot of us focus on one thing what is that one thing and we can't figure it out because we are composed of many things. I mean, our personalities are so different. <clears throat> and I like, I mean, like, like me, for instance. Uh, stuff I listen to, like, I'll listen to, uh, I'll say, uh, not just reggaeton, but like Spanish reggae. And then, the next day and my kids will tell you I might be listening to uh, uh, Japanese gospel I mean it, it whatever I feel like and all these things are just rolled up into me right so I can't just limit myself to I, I, I can only listen to one type of music and just as far as ourselves in the spiritual realm we can all I mean we we have so many things to fulfill we have uh, all these things rolled up on the inside of us going on got it going on that uh, it's not like I can choose one thing and ignore the rest so don't limit yourself. Don't limit your purpose to one thing. I can, like, uh, if you notice, most people who start serving God, the only way they think, because this is just the way we've been brought up, the only thing they think of, hey, to serve God, I got to preach. I got to start a church. Which, you know, we are to be his mouthpiece, his hands, his feet, uh, bless others. And we do that through all of our gifts and talents that he's given. Him. So who we are is really made up of our dislikes and our likes and our skills and our gifts and our talents. And utilizing that for that one purpose 
is really hard to do when you don't know what that one thing is because we've been taught yeah hey, you got that mission to fulfill and you're looking for that one thing when all along uh as you look at your ikigai which is your your reason for being the reason you wake up in the morning you got so much purpose around you and purpose to fulfill instead of that's that one thing that we feel that you know that ultimate thing that makes us whole so we look for that one thing and we lock into it <clears throat> and we uh we search all of our lives and i've seen so many people or I've, I've met people i talk to people talk to kids talk to adults who are just looking for that one thing when they have so much to give right now but it's like yeah yeah i can i can make music and make people happy but i'm looking for that one thing or you know i can paint i can do all these things but i'm just looking for that one thing god gives me all these t- gifts and talents but i'm looking for that one thing and i'm turning everything else away because i'll just I don't want to glorify myself, which you shouldn't. But those gifts and talents, it's, talents are you, you. If you utilize them the right way, you, you know, you can really just think how much purpose you fulfill when you are doing the things that you are good at, the things that uh, the gifts and talents that God has given you, and you're using it every day in everyday purposes. Instead of just looking for that one thing that I got to use this at church. When everybody God wants you to reach, it's not in church. So, uh, to limit your purpose to one thing uh, that you aren't sure about. And to turn away from other things. Is really like. You saying, I'm just not going to try. The things, I know I got stuff that God's given me to do, but I'm not going to try until I figure out what that other one, what that one thing is. There's a Japanese proverb. I've read this and I, it goes for trying new things, uh, trying to succeed. It really goes along with a, hey, just don't turn around, turn away things that are, uh, you know, that you've been called to do because you don't think it's that one thing. Uh, the, the proverb says this, if you try, you may succeed, right? And if you don't try, you will not succeed. Uh, that's a given. You'll never succeed if you don't try. You, uh, in basketball, say you uh, miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. So this is true of all things. <clears throat> Not succeeding is the result of not trying. <laughs> because if you're trying, eventually, like uh, the law of averages, you're going to do something. So this is important because we look to fulfill specific purposes in life. Of course, that one thing, of course, we want to do that. We want to have that ultimate calling. We want to have that vision fulfilled. But... We do that, turning away from the other things. Uh, so I wrote it like this. Uh, this is important because we look for, to fulfill a specific purpose in life while all along we pass up living our one life. I mean, while all along we uh, pass up living our life that we've been given, that one life that we have filled with purpose. So a lot of times we're looking for purpose when we're turning away from a life full of purpose. I don't want to sound like, I don't want to be confusing, but we're looking for that one thing, turning away from the many things and the many people that we can touch. So uh, for this weekend, uh, as we get into the weekend, all those things that you like and love to do, 
you know, that may be your icky guy, your, your reason for being. Those gifts and talents that you're acquiring, the things that you want to do, that you're learning how to do, that may be part of your purpose. Uh, we don't limit ourselves to purposes being just one thing. It's many things. It's like a glob. Uh, instead of just a box handed to you, or, here, this is your purpose. It's, uh, it adds and it subtracts. I don't do this anymore. This, I'm out of this season of my life. I can't reach these people anymore. But these people, I can. And it forms and it morphs and turns into this and that. And it builds into this great big thing. And you are all along living a fulfilled life. Not searching, but living life. Fulfilling purposes instead of just searching for that one thing. So, uh Let's stop wasting time, okay? Uh, so you guys have a great weekend. I love you very much. And um, keep your ears open. Keep your mind open. Keep your heart open. And it's going to come, and it's going to come big, right? So uh, to this weekend, if you're coming um, to the Griffin Tea House, let me know because I got something for you. Anyway, um, join the group. And love you very much. Have a great day. Come pie.